Hey, my name is Oscar and I'm a product marketing manager at GetResponse. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add an exit pop-up to your landing page. Pop-up forms can help you convert more site visitors into contacts. For example, you can add a pop-up to your landing page if you notice that the subscription rate is lower than expected, so you want to increase your conversions. Or if visitors leave without clicking anywhere else on the page. Let's get started. In your GetResponse account, go to Dashboard menu and click Landing Pages. You can, when building your page, you can use one of our pre-designed templates or you can build your own landing page from scratch. For the purpose of this video, I've created a landing page in advance just to show you how easily you can add an exit pop-up to it. My page is here. And actually, before you add any pop-up to your page, please make sure that the page is customized and populated with your content and messaging. By doing so, it will be, it will be just easier for you to create a matching form. When you have your page ready and customized, you can add pop-up in the landing page editor. All the tools are available here at this bar. Let's find forms and double click pop-up forms. In a pop-up model, click exit pop-up icon and will be taken to the form editor. Here you can customize it so it matches the overall look and feel of your landing page. You can change fonts right here, change sizes and colors. I want to make it look more like my landing page, so I will add a yellow highlight on the header. Let's switch it to max. All of those parts are fully customizable, so you can change the content, add your own colors, fonts, whatever you like to change is available for you here. Let's change the button. We can remove some content, play around so it matches all of your expectations. Just like that. When you're ready with your form design, scroll a little down and you will see additional settings here. We can change the background. introduce some delay uh, when we want this pop-up to pop up on the page actually how we want it to pop up and how often we want to repeat it to make your form compliant with the gdpr or other data processing agreements move the consent fields fields switch to on the consent fields you've created in get response will be here available for you then just simply select the fields we want to add to the form. Let's scroll up and we can also customize this part so it doesn't break the form we've just created. You have the same options here for this part as you had for all of the other elements of the form. And if you want this field to be required, simply switch this to on position. And now everyone who signs up will be able to give their consent to your marketing or data processing policies before they are added to your contact list. And when you're ready with your form, simply keep, click save here. You can preview the form before you save and publish the landing page. This way you can check if you're satisfied with how the form looks on the page. To do it, click preview button in the top toolbar of landing page creator, right here. Now, whenever your page visitors will want to exit the page, this pop-up will pop up on the page and you will be able to get their attention once again and get them to sign up to your list. Let's go back to editor. There is this placeholder of your pop-up. If you want to edit it, simply double click it and you will be able to introduce any changes you may like. And if you want to delete it, 
simply click this icon. But if you're happy with your landing page design and the form, you can save your work and you're actually done.